It's Thursday, October the 20th, and I did a, a first today that I can remember. I had to uh, get to scrape my windshields, and it's October 20th. I think that's the earliest I've ever had to do it. You said that when we did the show, and it made me think about it. Uh, I was driving today and saw a home that had heavy, heavy frost on its roof uh, oh, one day this week. It um, was that I had that this morning, so it was uh, it was eye opening and. Uh, eye opening is what the market is right now, also, isn't it? It, it really is. We, I, I posed a question to you. Won't go uh, into as much details, but I, I, I framed the economy up in bookends, uh, and, and Jamie Dimon to, continues to to lead the charge on saying that there is really going to be a, uh, a a downturn in the marketplace. He sees more distress. He sees more reasons for downturn than he hopes for optimism. And with the Fed still probably uh, 150 basis points more increase ahead of us, no way markets are going to rebound steadily with with that type of headwind. Ed. There's still there still seems to be uh, I won't say a light at the end of the tunnel, but there is a light that is saying um, that okay. Uh, uh, maybe the yield inversion is, is tightening a little bit. It's not widening as much. Uh, maybe these good uh, reports that are earning reports that are coming out and showing uh, uh, better earnings than expected and showing positive uh, thoughts going forward. Uh, not as good as year over year is, is, is some indication and that, uh, again, the Fed is going to vacillate and not go as much so that maybe we are in a bottoming uh, position. And that's a big maybe. Uh, we've talked about it. We continue to weigh that every, virtually every day we meet in the office. We did it this week in Monday. And we had our typical Monday me meeting. We, we raised the question. And we will say to you, even though we're still – glass half full folks that we're leaning more on the side that there's still more rough waters in front yeah, of us. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. I just don't, don't see, I think we, we may see, because what we've seen over the last week or so, we've seen a bear market rally. So within a bear market, we're having a rally, which is normal. But I think what we'll see is that once it, it moves up, maybe another three, four percent that we'll start to see it unwind again and head south for uh, and past the midterms. To let you know the tone of individuals that we're talking to, both clients as well as new clients, and we're having, and thanks to you, thanks to all the marketing that we're doing, the radio shows, everything, the involvement we're with, Carter Bank, um, we're having a very, very good year and feel good about where things are going for HMC. But the overall tone is caution. And so if you're cautious, if you if you want to be a little more defensive, if you want to capture these returns we're talked about in the three months and six months and one year and, and just kind of wait it out, uh, know that that's what we're hearing and know that that's what we're working with at this point in time. It's, yeah. it's temporary. We just don't know the depth. The, the defining time of temporary. Yeah, I mean, to tell you where where you know my head is. I, this this week, I, I continue to buy a lot of treasury bills, right? Uh, with with excess cash, so we're still on the side of of caution, and and we'll remain that way. Um, I would say until the first of the year, and then we'll take a take another look at it. Equities uh, that pay dividends, energy, uh, consumer staples. You def you cited this morning defense in that sector as yeah, an area contractors, yeah. is an area we continue to be in. If we are in the equity space, uh, but we are monitoring it. We are having conversations. We're uh, being as as knowledgeable as we can for you in bringing it to you because we understand that it is your money. And your money matters. We'll see you next week.